All right, guys, happy Thursday. So today we are wrapping up The Outsiders. I really hope you have enjoyed this book. And honestly, like uh, one of the biggest things I regret about this year is not being able to read this with you. It's so good. Um, I've When I've read this with students in the past, like every year, it's always cool because we get to the end of the book and there's just like tears. There's also kind of like this I this awakening where um, you, when you read the end of the book, what happens? You're kind of like, oh my gosh, this moment of like your mind's being blown. So I'm really bummed to not be able to do that with you guys. I hope you enjoy the last chapter. It is really cool. Um, once you get done, one slide for tonight, last one in your notebook. And this one just says like, what, what's the point? So earlier this year, we've talked about the theme um, throughout, you know, whether it was short stories or with the pearl. And so I want to kind of know, like, what are we supposed to take away from this? What do you think the theme is here? So the question is, when we read books, we usually come away uh, from our experience of reading them with a new understanding about life. What do you think Essie Hinton intended us to understand or gain from reading this book? Like, what did she want us to know? And so I want you to write up a little bit about that. Probably a paragraph. Don't just put down, like, people in power take advantage of those who are not in power or something cliche like we talked about in sixth grade. I really want to know, like, what are we supposed to learn from this and why? Okay. So about a paragraph answer for this one is pretty open, but just your thoughts, your reaction to it, guys. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.